Hey guys, it's Japs, and today we're here to test out the SSL2 USB audio interface. Recently, I have been doing some recording, uh, some professional recording, and I found that my current setup is not up to par anymore. I found out that the signal from my Zoom L8 is not as clean as I would like it to be. I don't know if that noise has been there all along and I'm just noticing it now or the problems are just showing because I'm doing some heavy recording. You know, sometimes when you push it, those problems occur. But that is the issue. So we're going to try and see if the SSL2 is a cleaner solution for that. Side note, I actually tried the Modi X built-in interface to record my instruments and some vocals. And the preamp is pretty quiet. It sounds pretty clean. So kudos to Yamaha for having a very clean sounding interface. The only issue with uh, using the Modi X as an interface, it, it doesn't have phantom power, which I need to record good mics. Like the Neumann here, which we are currently not using. Uh, yeah. So, first impressions, the SSL2 is a solid looking interface to me, it has kind of a nice feel to it, like the build quality, you can feel that it's quality materials that they use without it being too heavy. It's good that they use USB-C now instead of the USB-B that we always see on these things. So they upgrade their stuff. It's nice. But the thing that I'm most interested in this interface is this button right here. The 4K legacy button. I'm sure there are other videos on YouTube that's explaining what the 4K is for. But it's not the video resolution of this interface, you know, or like a sound. It's not describing like, oh, 4K sound, like video. It's so clean, crisp. No, it's not about that. It's one of SSL's most famous preamps. Uh, you can look it up if you want. I'm excited to see if the difference is audible. So like, you know, if you A and B it, is it noticeable or is it something like, oh, very subtle? 